There was a study about uh, restaurants in DC and I think the number was, they went to a lot of expensive restaurants and they figured out that 33% of the restaurants when they ordered fish and DNA tested it, weren't the fish that they had ordered. I'm from the North Shore of Austin, which in large part has a very large fishing economy, especially up north in places like Gloucester. And over there, fishermen have been out of work for a really long time. It's causing a huge unemployment problem, huge poverty problem, and also a huge uh, heroin epidemic because people have completely lost hope. This happened before us. The fishing industry is suffering from a massive problem re with regards to things being overfished, and so there's nothing left in order to increase production, and also automation. And so people say, well, aren't you displacing jobs? And we're saying, Yes, but these jobs are already being displaced. So at Finless Foods, what we do is we take a small sample from fish muscle, which has about a billion cells in it, and we grow that up into an incredible amount of fish meat. Theoretically, one cell can create one metric ton of meat. And so if we have a sample with one billion cells, we can theoretically create one billion tons of fresh, clean, healthy fish protein for people to eat. The idea behind this is to solve problems in the food supply chain and just create a better food system for everybody. There's tons of problems in the fishing industry that we thought really had solutions to them but just nobody was implementing them. Uh, if you're getting fish from the ocean you're gonna have mercury and you're gonna have plastic inside of the fish that you're eating with actual health effects and if you're getting fish from aquaculture you're going to end up with high levels of antibiotics, high levels of hormones, and you're also going to end up with the exact same mercury and plastic that you were eating before with wild caught fish because they actually feed the wild caught fish to the aquaculture fish a lot of the time. So it has a lot of the same problems in that way. On top of that, we're sending these huge fleets of gas guzzling boats out into the middle of the ocean, which pollutes our air and destroys the environment, um, destroys ocean ecosystems in really massive ways. And uh, even aquaculture actually has all sorts of like fungicides that seep out into the water and cause all sorts of problems for nearby ecosystems. So we sort of thought there really has to be a better way than what we're doing now in order to do fish meat production. Why fish? Fish are a much easier system to work with than anything else. One, fish are more simple structurally. They are just a simpler organism, they have simpler vasculature. With a fish, it's muscle collagen, muscle collagen, it's much more easy for us to build. Beyond that, fish cells are easier to culture. Um, fish cells can be cultured at room temperature, whereas most animal cells can be cultured at 37 degrees Celsius. And so for any other company making their product, they're going to have to deal with massive energy costs in terms of getting their uh, bioreactors, which look a lot like fermenters that you'd find in a brewery, to be at the right temperature. We don't have to. We're already culturing our cells outside of an incubator and just in a room. And what's cool about this tech is that it means that people can have uh, healthy, delicious protein far away from the ocean, which is awesome. We can create these gigantic meat breweries nowhere near water because it's completely independent of it. And so I see this as solving all sorts of problems in the food supply chain and not just the obvious ones. I really, really firmly believe that people aren't eating healthy food. And this is a much, much healthier food source in so many ways that I don't really even think, yeah, I don't, I don't think that there's a reason why this shouldn't be what people eat.